a hot one out there. We are getting ready to leave for camping this weekend, and it is already, can you guess it, 94 degrees. Woo! How you doing? Hey, Yes, we decided last minute two days ago to book a camping trip for my husband. He gets stressed at work and this is his stress reliever. Just to go out, look at some trees, some water, squirrels even. He says it's just a different scenery than the four walls. So our plans are get on the water, relax, find our friends. We have some friends that are on the lake, so we're going to Try to find them by boat. Come along for the ride. It's going to be a great one. Oh, that's a good spot. See, I got squirrels. I can look at squirrels. What? I said there's squirrels. I can look at squirrels. Is this our spot? Yeah, that's our spot. This ain't bad. It's wooded. It actually feels like 10 degrees cooler right here. Yes, it does. You know? Uh, uh, uh. Kitty just... She was all lounged out. She was chilling, Kitty. She had a little fan blowing on her. Did she? She was spoiled. Kitty! She spoiled, Kitty. So, yeah, that's our spot. Mm -hmm. I guess it is what it is. Especially not so bad. It felt like forever. Oh, I'm watch again! Come here. Come here. I'm going to show you how talented I am. Go like this, right here. I'm having a double trip. Right here. Let's find some money. And Mama steals it. Beep, beep. Here. Hey, I'd keep looking. I found two right off the What are you doing? Okay. Good, let me check. Hold up, hold up. Okay. You're going to have to move forward. Hey, hey! Okay, where are we at? Level wise. evening guys it's Friday it is not so hot I overheated so I stayed in the RV for a bit we watched a show my husband went to a men's thing in town it's the luxury of being so close but now it's gonna get dark we're going to blow the leaves kind of make it more homey and we're gonna set out some lights. So, I'm gonna put you right there. Okay. So I actually found this awesome product. Um, it's actually for Christmas. It's for Christmas lights. And it comes with a um, timer so that when the sun comes out, um, it'll turn on or you have a fob. So if you forget it and you're in the, in the RV and you don't have to come out and unplug it, this way it kind of um, lights up the campground at dusk. We really enjoy it. My husband was like, that's a brilliant idea. That's what I thought. Making camping easier. Y'all, you gotta look at this. Look at how beautiful. Look how clean that is. Wow. It's a pretty awesome product. If you haven't seen my husband do that, you should just go check it out. Effortless, really effortless. 
There's a lot of RVs. I like looking at them. Just to see what... And then I Google them. Like, what does it look like inside? It looks so much fun. And I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go, uh, blow. Hey, what do y'all think? Think we should go get some milkshakes or something while we're out here on the water? Yes, yes. This, it's a nice, I guess, restaurant on the lake. You can either go up, get out of your boat, go up to the restaurant, which is, I think, long, or you can just order like Sonic and they just deliver, and they deliver it to you. down at the, at the dock. So I say, let's try it. Let's see what they have. And I think you have to check on your phone um, to get the menu. And order and call. However. Yeah, we've been here before. Yes. Y'all probably seen other videos of where we've been out here before, but as we're out here on Beaver Lake, we kind of like to do this sometimes. Go get some food, a little treat for the kids. I think the last time we came was Autumn's birthday, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. What's the name of it again? Uh, Venturis Trails Inn. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah, it's not rough. Yep, two salads, two milkshakes yes, for delivery. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. We have a total of 41.22 here, sir. 95, and then I got 5.49 for both of the, the milkshakes, and then I got 150 for delivery. Sir. Oh, okay. All right, folks. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks again. That was about $50 for a couple salads and some milkshakes, so. I guess that's what happens when you don't plan. Then. All right. It's good. It's good so far? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Salads are good. That looks good. What do you think we can get under this without the taking the canopy down? No. You think we got to take the canopy down? And it's been, what, two weeks? Three. Yeah. And it's like been in the 90s. I mean, surely. I, they've been letting a lot of water out, surely by now. What do you think? It's too high. No, 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 so, Dad, no, stop, Dad, Dad, stop, 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 stop. No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's like. All right, I tried. I guess it's still too tall. I guess we'll park over here on this side. Yeah, but there's a boat there. You let the kids walk up? Yep. Save the vehicle for the old folks? Yep. This is the senior uh, You kill me. I yeah, had a heart attack coming up, heart attack hill. Yeah, this is nice. Dude, it's salt water. Salt water? Nice. But when someone's yelling at him to swim towards the side and he's not listening, I don't care. We will make Hi. Hey, hey. We, we finally made it out to see your place. <laughs> we wanted to see how the other half live on the lake. Nice. <laughs> it is nice. It is nice. Where are you camping? Uh, Prairie Creek. Okay. It's so bloody hot. You guys made it under the We had to pull the canopy down. The last time I camped, it was 100 degrees and we it ruined us. Yeah. Well, we're trying to get back. Uh, the weather looks like it's getting ready to storm cloud in front of us. It rained a little bit, so.
And the search continues after a man drowned in the Prairie Creek Marina off Beaver Lake. Now, 5 News reporter Jose Carranza tells us what officials are doing during their search and why it's putting safety on people's minds. And what's going on? Well, it looks like apparently somebody drowned here on the lake yesterday. We came to launch the boat and they got a big major search and rescue operation with the uh, sheriff's department. And you can see over there, they got the Baton County Command Center and they got every sheriff, so they're launching all the boats to go look for the body. Safety. One thing I can say is make sure that if you guys boat, that you know the area, you don't drink and drive on the lake on the boat and practice boat, boater safety because there's many people drowned every year because of those reasons. Mm -hmm. Well, today is a definitely a much better day. Beautiful day. It's not as hot. It's about 87, 88 degrees. That storm that came in actually cooled things off, which is good. So we're just kind of out here enjoying our day on the boat out at the lake. As you can see, nice sunny day. Kim's floating in the water saying hi. Are you relaxed, babe? I am relaxed. This, this, this is what makes me happy. This is this is something I definitely need I, that I enjoy. It's being outdoors. That's why we do these outdoor adventures. So this is what makes me happy. However, my husband didn't. What's that? Why is it boaters and our beers, our beers, always happy? <laughs> yeah, it can you explain them? <laughs> can you? It's true. Two happiest people I meet in, in the world are people that are out on a boat, on a lake, or people that are at a campground at RV. What do you think? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And give us a thumbs up. All right, thank you. It's not the jumpy boat. It's a uh, crawly boat. Insect. <laughs> it's saying I'm going to... Um, the green bug is on your tube with you. Is that really? No, I don't know. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> no.